Imagine standing on a shore, gazing at a vast, endless ocean. In your hand, a bottle with a message about your world, your music, your life. You toss it into the waves, not knowing who will find it. That's the Voyager 1 mission, humanity's message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. Voyager 1 is a tiny spacecraft, the size of a small car, carrying the dreams of an entire planet. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 and its twin set out for the giant planets. Their main goal, a grand tour of Jupiter and Saturn. But Voyager 1 kept going, venturing into the unknown between the stars. Now, Voyager 1 is somewhere no human-made object has ever been. It still sends us whispers from this uncharted territory, challenging our understanding of the universe. Voyager 1 is a silent ambassador, carrying our message and curiosity into the vast unknown. It's a reminder. We were here, and we dared to reach out. The cosmic ocean awaits. What is Voyager 1? Think of it as a smart robot on the longest road trip in history, a collection of scientific instruments, cameras, and a big radio dish. It didn't have a powerful engine. Instead, it used Jupiter and Saturn's gravity as a cosmic slingshot escaping the sun's pull. Launched in 1977, it first visited Jupiter, revealing the Great Red Spot and active volcanoes on Io, shocking discoveries at the time. Then, it flew by Saturn, unveiling the planet's intricate rings and Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere. That flyby bent Voyager 1's path, sending it out of the plane of the planets and on a direct route out of the solar system. Its planetary mission ended, but a new one began the Voyager Interstellar Mission. For decades it's been a lonely sentinel, measuring solar wind and cosmic rays, drifting ever farther from home. Today, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles away. A radio signal takes over 22 hours to reach it and another 22 to return. It's a 1970s machine with less computing power than your phone, still operating in the harshest environment imaginable, and yet it still works, still talking to us, still sending back data, from beyond the frontier. Voyager 1 is our humble emissary to the stars. Before Voyager 1, scientists pictured the solar system's edge as a calm, orderly place. The sun blows out a stream of charged particles, creating a protective bubble called the heliosphere. This bubble shields us from harsh galactic radiation, its boundary known as the heliopause, the edge of the sun's kingdom. Inside, the sun's magnetic field dominates. Outside, the galaxy's magnetic chaos reigns. Scientists expected Voyager 1 to cross the heliopause, like a boat entering the open sea. Solar wind gone, galactic particles in, magnetic field direction changed. They waited for a dramatic, clear signal, a moment when Voyager would officially leave home. Instruments were tuned, checklists ready, champagne on ice. The expectation, a neat tidy event, a single point in time marking humanity's entry into the cosmic wilderness. But the universe had other plans. The story Voyager sent back was far more complex and far more fascinating than anyone imagined. The edge of the sun's kingdom was not a simple border, but a turbulent, mysterious frontier. Voyager 1 was about to rewrite the map. As Voyager 1 approached the edge, data was predictable. The spacecraft entered the helio sheet, where the solar wind slows and piles up, a traffic jam at the edge of the city. Scientists expected three signs of crossing, solar particles dropping to zero, galactic cosmic rays spiking, and a dramatic shift in the magnetic field's direction. The sun's magnetic field points east-west, interstellar space, they thought, would be completely different. The plan was simple. See the signs, pop the champagne, and announce humanity's arrival among the stars. But the universe rarely follows our neat theories. Reality is always more complex, more surprising, and more wonderful than we imagine. Voyager's crossing would not be a clean break, but a messy, fascinating transition. The edge of the solar system was about to reveal its true nature. Science was about to get a surprise. In 2012, Voyager 1's instruments reported two of the three expected signs, solar particles vanished, and galactic cosmic rays surged, but the magnetic field didn't change direction, it was still aligned with the sun, scientists were baffled, was Voyager in a strange, in-between region, they called it, the magnetic highway, the breakthrough came from Voyager's plasma wave instrument, which had been mostly quiet, in 2013, scientists discovered Voyager was hearing a faint, persistent, hum, the sound of 
interstellar space. By measuring the frequency they found the plasma density was 80 times higher than inside the heliosphere. This was the interstellar medium. Voyager had crossed the boundary. The magnetic field's alignment remains a mystery. Perhaps by chance, the interstellar field matches the suns in this region. The crossing wasn't a clean step, but a wade through a turbulent foamy surf where two environments mix. Voyager didn't just exit, it plunged into a churning, unpredictable frontier. The universe's boundaries are messy, not neat. Voyager 1's journey revealed a cosmic shoreline far stranger than we ever expected. It's a place where the sun's influence fades and the galaxy's true nature begins. Our message in a bottle had reached the open sea, and it was listening to the cosmic hum. Voyager 1's journey spans nearly five decades, a marvel of 1970s engineering, still powered by its nuclear battery. Its computer is simpler than a modern phone, recording data on a digital tape. The cameras went dark long ago but Voyager's most poetic cargo remains. The Golden Record This gold-plated disc carries images, greetings, and music, a time capsule for whoever finds it. The Golden Record is a symbol of hope, a testament to a species reaching out with art, not weapons. Voyager 1 is a silent witness to our existence, a tiny spark in the cosmic dark. The journey continues, measured not in miles, but in hope. Voyager. One's discovery of the interstellar hum was a mix of genius and luck. Its plasma wave system can't measure density directly, but it can hear plasma waves. When a solar shockwave reached Voyager, it made the interstellar plasma ring like a bell. By analyzing the pitch, scientists calculated the plasma was much denser than inside the heliosphere, a clear sign Voyager was in a new environment. The boundary isn't smooth, it's turbulent, filled with clumps and voids, a cosmic foam. The sun's bubble and the galaxy meet in a violent, churning process, not a gentle transition. This messy boundary affects how cosmic rays enter our solar system, influencing Earth's environment. Voyager 1 is our scout, providing the first direct measurements of this critical region. Every faint data packet is a precious clue, helping us refine our models and understand our place in the galaxy. Voyager's science is rewriting the map of the solar system's edge. Voyager 1 is now a creature of two worlds, born of Earth, but at home in the space between stars. It's the loneliest object we've ever created, yet not truly alone. We're still connected, listening for its faint whispers. The mission's longevity is a lesson in patience and vision. A multi-generational project, now guided by scientists who weren't even born when it launched. Voyager teaches us the value of long-term thinking, of building a legacy for the future. It embodies the spirit of exploration. We climb mountains, dive oceans, and send probes to the stars because it's in our nature. Voyager 1 answers the question, what's out there? With discoveries more strange and beautiful than we ever dreamed. It's a symbol of hope, reminding us what we can achieve when we work together and let curiosity lead. Voyager is a tiny probe, but it carries the biggest ideas. It tells the universe that a species on a small blue planet dared to reach for the stars. Our future isn't confined to Earth. It's out there, waiting to be discovered. Voyager's journey is just the first step. The journey of humanity is just beginning. And the cosmos is listening.